EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Orchardshire with your outlook for August 7th, 2020. For your Friday, we're going to have a stalled boundary over the region, a stationary boundary that's kind of situated sort of like this, okay? And uh, there's a little wave of low pressure here that's going to move along that this morning. And at the same time, there is another uh, kind of like a mid-level trough axis that's sitting back here. A little impulse is going to move through along that same stalled boundary later today as this moves eastward. Uh, so we're going to have a couple chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms. One's going to come this morning, and then you're going to have another sh renewed shot for that this afternoon and evening. Uh, so the uh, uh, European model here is uh, picking up the morning activity, and then you have another renewed threat here this afternoon and evening with the scattered showers and thunderstorms. Now it looks a little bit more ominous here on this uh, image here, be like a, like there's a ton of, of moisture here. Uh, but the name really doesn't suggest that. And actually going back to 5 o'clock in the morning, we see that scattered activity with the first impulse, uh, moving northeastward, and that is going to allow some of these scattered thunderstorms to go through the uh, early morning hours here. And then once we get into the afternoon hours, we have a renewed threat here. You can see more activity picking up here. These are going to be very, very uh, arbitrarily placed, widely scattered today. This is not going to be uh, like a deluge across an entire area, but any one of these storm cells have the ability to produce very heavy rainfall because of, of very high precipital water content in the atmosphere. So uh, with the watch for that, so if you do get hit, it's going to be a case of the has and haves nots today because you have some areas that might get hit once or twice, or maybe more than that, and some areas might be uh, pretty dry today. It just depends on uh, luck and luck of the draw here. Uh, but I do think the majority of this stuff that came through uh, there will come through very early this morning, and then uh, we'll have a renewed threat this afternoon with more scattered activity around the region. Those can pop up just about anywhere. Uh, I don't want to really call it isolated because this looks a little bit more like ice, more than isolated activity, but this is still widely scattered. Okay, and this will go through the evening hours until we uh, finally wind that down a little bit. Still a threat for a uh, thunderstorm overnight, especially for our far southern areas here, as you can see that moving across Delaware. Uh, but as we get into Saturday here, it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad at all. Uh, high pressure is going to start moving in from the west and kicking this frontal boundary further to the southeast, and uh, still a stray shower possibility in a few places here but uh, most areas are going to stay dry here also on saturday so saturday turns out to be a partly cloudy day and a, and a stray shower chance here in the afternoon and uh, that's it and then uh, this, here's that system moving away here on saturday here's that stray shower chance that i'm always talking about there's very little shown here but still uh, a very slight chance for a shower here during the afternoon on saturday but then sunday we go to mostly sunny skies and winds are going to turn to the southwest here on sunday as well and that's going to get a get the temperatures up a little bit. So uh, we'll be kind of like stuck right around 80-ish or thereabout today. And then we get into uh, the middle 80s here, maybe 84, 85 here on Saturday. Once we get to Sunday, we're in the upper 80s uh, for highs, uh, 87, 88-ish for highs here on Sunday. And that continues right into next week. Next week's going to be a warmer than average week. And we're going to have mostly sunny skies again on Monday. Some areas making a run at the 90-degree mark. And then once we get to Tuesday, we have a frontal boundary that's going to be approaching the region and it's uncertain if this is, it looks like the front is going to be kind of way back here. This The frontal boundary is sitting back here like this. So this is more like prefrontal trough activity that could give us some scattered thunderstorms late in the day uh, on Tuesday as this moves eastward. But this frontal boundary is going to take its time moving eastward because there's a ridge in place out here that's going to slow this up a little bit. And we've seen this plenty of times, and you see this very often in summer where you have a ridge to the east and a cold front trying to come through, but then it runs into kind of like a roadblock and it slows down a little bit. So you get a prefrontal trough here on Tuesday with scattered late day showers and thunderstorms, as you can see here. And then once you get to Wednesday, that frontal boundary uh, doesn't really move too far to the south. So frontal boundary frontal, the frontal boundary is still sitting right here. It didn't really move that much. The day before on Tuesday is back here, and it moves down to this position here on Wednesday. So you get guess what? You get more scattered showers and thunderstorms late in the day here on Thursday, or excuse me, Wednesday. Once we do get to Thursday, though, the front moves a little bit further southeast, and uh, so for our southeastern areas, have a more scattered threat for thunderstorms. Interior will be more isolated as uh, winds start uh, changing a little bit, and that front moves off further to the southeast. So a couple chances for storms over the next week here, and that's mainly centered on uh, today. A uh, straight chance for an afternoon shower on, on Saturday, but otherwise the weekend looks pretty good. And then turning warmer. And then it looks like uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week, we have a chance for afternoon diurnally driven showers and thunderstorms aided by that cold front coming through. It will be very slow to move through the region.
I'm Eastern PA with a 30 meteorologist Bobby Marches. That is your outlook for August 7th, 2020. Have a great Friday.